Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the Coach Swing Zip Bag. This bag is completely sold out everywhere, even on reselling. It's like not available. Everyone's been crazy for it. It went super viral on TikTok. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it. So let's unbox it. Let's see what fits. Let's try it on. All that fun stuff together. Before I get started, I just want to say I'm going to put out all my links down below if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. And make sure to like and comment on this video. And let's get started. Okay, so going into the details of the bag. It does come in a couple different colors. I did get the dark green color. It comes in white and black and like a pinkish color, but apparently the pink color is only available on Amazon. I did end up getting this bag on Poshmark. It retails for $3.95. I paid a little bit above, so not too bad. I saw some people selling it for like $750 and like over $1,000, which is a little crazy. But yeah, so this is how it looks. All of the bags do have gold detailing, which I'm a big fan of. It has the little coach tag here. This is how it looks. It basically looks the same from both sides. The bottom has little feet on it, which I think is a really great detail if you want to set your bag down so this part doesn't get dirty. Over here, it says original glove tan leather. The leather is really soft, and I love that the little seams are almost like a lightish green, which isn't too difficult to... You know, it's a lightish green. It's very cute. I feel like it doesn't pop on the back if it were to be white. Okay, so next we're going to see what fits inside. This was one of the main reasons why I wanted to purchase this bag. I saw someone fit a whole book in it along with their essentials, and that was a major selling point for me because although it is a little thick, it still is quite small, and I didn't think it would fit too much besides like your essentials, maybe a little bit more, but nothing too crazy. So Let's fill it up together with my essentials. I've opened it up all the way. I like that it also like, you can really stretch this out to really fit some stuff in here. So the first thing we're gonna put is my keys. I have this massive thing of keys that always just takes up a ton of space. My wallet, it's from Fossil. It's a very standard size wallet, but it does take up a lot of space too, honestly. My sunscreen, a lipstick, Vaseline. I absolutely love Vaseline. I feel like it's the best thing for anything. And a book. I'm not reading this book, but it does it's the standard book size. All right. So just because I have too much in here, I guess I have to do a bit of Tetris. But once you fold the book, the book a bit inwards like this, it fits, which I feel like it's just amazing. I mean, I probably wouldn't carry this much stuff around, but it is really good. The only problem is that it does get a little bit heavy. So about last week, I did wear this bag to the mall. I was wearing it almost all day long and it started to hurt my shoulder because I just had packed it to the brim. You know, sometimes just because it fits doesn't mean you should bring it. I hadn't brought my book, but I brought like a portable charger. I just, I just had filled it to the brim. It was so heavy, hurt my shoulder so bad. So yeah now sometimes when i carry it and it's a bit heavy i'll just carry it by hand you know i won't like slug it over my shoulder that's the only negative but in general without anything in it the bag is very light so it really is just like my essentials that make it heavy but it does fit a lot which is amazing and next i'm going to show how it fits on the shoulder i really like this green color but i find it a little bit difficult to style if i'm not going to wear like very like gray, black, brown, those type of colors. For the summer, I feel like I'm not even gonna touch this bag just because the green isn't gonna match a lot of the outfits that I do have. That's why I'm leaning towards the black one. The outfit I have on right now probably won't match this either, but we're gonna give it a go. So I do have purple leggings on and a black top, but this is how it looks. This is how it looks over the shoulder. You can squeeze it down because sometimes with the the feet it like makes it a little bit more difficult to keep your arm down you just kind of have to hold it like this but with this bag i feel like you can put your arm down so yeah this is how it looks from the side i've switched it up word on both shoulders and it looks amazing you can also kind of hold it which is what i did when it was like a little bit heavier but yeah. it's also not difficult to unzip when you have the bag on to get something that you may need which I find is super convenient. I was looking into the Hamptons bag that Coach has, but that was one of the main negative reviews that it's difficult to open and close when it's on your shoulder. But yeah, I really like how it just fits. It's not super high up where like 
it's over here. I like that I can also make it that way if I choose to. I am on the taller side, so I like that it's a little bit more adjustable. And yeah, I feel like it's very comfortable on the shoulder. Overall, I would recommend this bag. I am a massive fan of it. I can't wait to get a more neutralish color so I can get more use out of it. Although once I've gotten this bag, I've just used it like every day since. The leather's so soft, fits all my essentials and more. And I feel like it's very stylish. So if you're on the fence about this bag, definitely get it. I'm a massive fan. I love it and I do think it's worth a $3.95. Maybe $700, I don't know, but $3.95, I think it is worth it. And that's going to be the end of this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can find all my links down below. And thanks for watching.